Gordon and I got a question for you. Why so many people fancy about the big guns? Big guns are so heavy and so expensive. Is that really, um, compared to the medium size gun, is that really, you know, uh, so uh, cost defect, uh, cost performance is so high? Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'm just waiting for you to interrupt me, actually, before I start. <laughs> okay, so please subscribe our video and press the bell and give a thumb up because we've got more stories to share with you every week. I think, really, uh, Eileen, what you're talking about are not large gongs, you're talking about very large gongs. Yeah, aren't 50 you? inches I mean, up. Yeah. I'm sitting in a studio here mm -hmm. uh, looking um, at a 42 inch gong, mm -hmm. which is large enough for, for, mm -hmm. to carry around. Actually, it's the, the biggest size gong that I can carry around on yeah, my own, just about. Yeah. And 42 inch, that, what are we talking about, a 42 inch gong? What does that mean? It's the diameter, yeah, it's how much it is across mm -hmm. the face of the gong. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty large, but mm -hmm. that is large. Yeah. Um, we're talking about very extra large, large. <laughs> extra large, yeah. Uh -huh. An extra, extra large. Well, I suppose we'd start at 50 inch, wouldn't we? Yes. Um, and you know what a 50 inch gong sounds like, don't you? Yeah. I think you've played one. You've played one in uh -huh. England. And I fancy you've also played a 60 inch gong um, yeah. in England. They were both yeah. made by Pasty, yeah. who, are, uh, who are the the foremost, at least European maker, that make very large gongs. Mm -hmm. um, and we've got a short little snapshot of the 50 inch gong. Mm -hmm. My first question is why people fancy. Why is a big gong? Why is a so attractive to many gong players? Although the, it's very difficult to move the gong, the, very heavy. The very, very large gongs. Yeah. Um, I think it's the it's the low, um, mm -hmm. the low. Um, um, how low they go, basically. I mean, they create these extraordinarily powerful low sound waves mm -hmm. because, uh, merely because of their size, mm -hmm. um, it can be the um, the most immersive uh, mm -hmm. experience that you will ever have. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's what people like the most. How um, are the bigger, the more powerful? Um, one, only one short. Well, as I say, when we're talking about power, what are we talking about? I think really we're talking about these low, these ultra low um, sound waves that are created by the by the mere size of them. Mm -hmm. And of course, the, the not only the size, but but kind of um, it also means that they're. That, I don't like to use the word loud mm -hmm. or powerful, mm -hmm. but they just have this. Um, they have this impact on the listener, um, um, which is really profound. I mean, it is power, you know, it's, it, it, I guess, very powerful. Another thing is the big gun can, one stroke can sound a long, very long yeah. time. Right? We did this, in fact, yeah. talking about the 50 inch gong mm -hmm. that we played in, uh, in, in England, pasty, yeah, yeah. Uh, the pasty gong. We did a test, didn't we, yes. to see how long it could last, and we yeah. got well beyond. I mean, we fed, we got fed up with it, and it was still after two okay. minutes, and you could still we the we, microphones could still ear, pick it yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Never mind the yes, the human ear, yeah. you could still hear it, mm -hmm. and of course the vibration would go on for much longer than that. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. So we we've actually done that. Mm -hmm. um, 
the 60, 60 inch pasty gong that mm -hmm. you played, which is owned by a yeah. colleague of mine in England. Yes. Um, and it used to belong to uh, the Paul McCartney uh, mm -hmm. Centre in, uh, in, in, in Liverpool. Mm -hmm. um, is uh, um, a specially thin. Yeah, very thin. Uh, very sensitive. For, very for thin. the. For, for the size of the gong, it's extraordinary how thin it is, and so it's very, very sensitive, mm -hmm. and that's got a, a memorable sound. Yes. Very rare. Mm -hmm. um, the pasty company make uh, uh, very large gongs up to 80 inches in diameter. I think they are making 90. I oh, don't know. Okay. Maybe so, but mm -hmm. I mean, I mean it, the, if you go to their website, you can order an 80-inch gong if you've got mm -hmm. enough money to Maybe do it. Maybe custom made in 80. Um, yeah. But certainly, I played an 80-inch gong. I have to say that it was a bit disappointing. Um, Why? I don't know. Maybe it was the context or the surroundings or whatever. Oh, yeah. But um, mm -hmm. um, I think the most extraordinary experience I ever had with a 60-inch, 60-inch, very large, mm -hmm. pasty gong was when uh, one of my, another one of my colleagues in England, a well, renowned, these days renowned teacher, got, uh, obtained a 60 inch pasty gong and invited me round to hear it. And I was placed between the gong and the wall in her oh, living yeah. room. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, you know, the gong was sort of a foot in front of me and then the wall was behind me. And she played it gently and having this experience where I was really feeling these sound waves, very mm -hmm. up, up close and personal. It was extraordinary mm -hmm. memory. Mm -hmm. um, yes. But to move on, mm -hmm. um, uh, we talked about pasty a lot. Um, there are other European manufacturers oh, yes. now who make them. Um, mm -hmm. Tone of Life makes 60 inch mm -hmm. gongs, and I played, I had the privilege of playing one of their early mm -hmm. uh, Cosmo gongs mm -hmm. uh, a few years back in Poland. Mm -hmm. We've got a short clip of that. They're beautiful yeah. gongs, the big. Uh, Mm -hmm. The big tone of life gongs. Yeah, we listened to, uh, uh, we watched the video first, right? Wider, I think you asked why do gong players like the big gongs yeah. and why do gong listeners like them? I think gong players like them for the same reason that they give out this extraordinarily powerful low end. But mm -hmm. also it's, um, it's interesting how sensitive they can be. Well, I'm, well, I'm talking about this, this extra thin pasty example of a pasty 60 inch gong uh, from Liverpool. Um, but even the you know the normal kind of thicker ones also can be be extraordinarily sensitive. You play with a flumey, for example, oh, yes. it can really be very mm -hmm. sensitive. Or even with the smaller mallets, mm -hmm. can be really you know you think of the big gongs being played with the big hefty mallets, but yes. of course you can play Strike with smaller hard. with smaller mallets mm -hmm. and very sensitive sounds oh, that they yeah. make. Mm -hmm. um, indeed, that way too, mm -hmm. um, absolutely. But I know you, you ever, you have ever played very big, very very big gong, right? Well, even bigger than that. Yes. Well, big. actually, I have. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't know that such a thing. You were talking about sp uh, um, stories about special uh, editions of pasty ninety-inch mm -hmm. gongs. Well, I've actually played a 90-inch gong. Mm -hmm. um, no, that's, I have to uh, correct you, that's 80 inches. Uh, oh, yeah. is it? Yeah, 80. Yeah. Oh, I'm not yeah, sure 80. about that. I think I'm it was five sure. feet across. How no, big is that? 80. Yeah, 80. Oh, was it? Which yeah, one are we 80. talking about? We're talking about a big gong. You played a, 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 a gong like gong. 
Oh, in uh, in Taiwan. Oh, Taiwan, yeah. Oh well, when they were eighty or ninety, yeah. it's Maybe. enormous, uh -huh. um, and it was made in a very interesting way. them very expensive the big gongs is the yeah. amount of manufacturing process that yeah. goes into them um, there are actually I think um, I've seen clips um, of the manufacturing process I'm not sure whether they were making a really large gong whether it was just like a 40 inch or something mm -hmm. but even with a 40 inch gong you've got half a dozen blokes yes. um, involved in them mm -hmm. and moving them around they you know they are How so hefty, hefty. Yeah. and then the hammering that they take I mean we're talking about huge great big slash hammers they yeah. used to to unbelievably to knock them you know ultimately to tune them mm -hmm. um, but it's uh, it's really heavy metal processing yes. <laughs> you could say mm -hmm. but the way that the uh, whether it's 80 or 90 inch gone mm -hmm. I'm not sure that that I played in Taiwan a while back was made in three separate yeah. sections, wasn't it? The alloy, yeah, the and maker um, imported from Japan. Welded together. Mm -hmm. it was, you can just about see the welds in it, but um, remarkable that it, that it held together that way. Mm -hmm. And it's a huge, great big thing, absolutely large. I mean, I stand to be corrected. I thought it was bigger than 18 inches. If you say it was, then 18, fair yeah. enough. Mm -hmm. But um, that is a gong with a, uh, you know, in, in the Southeast Asian tradition with the boss in the middle, um, uh, with a raised center, um, mm -hmm. and uh, yes, it was an extraordinary gong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, how many, as you can remember, how many major gong maker make extra large 50 inches up gong? We're talking in Taiwan see, about, yeah, no, we're, no, talk, okay, yeah. Taiwan we're talking about maker, Taiwan, Taiwan yeah. about a craft maker, let's mm -hmm. make this clear. It's not, um, yeah. but, in Europe, certainly, mm -hmm. we have pasty who've been making them for some years. Yes. Mine or don't make anything much bigger than 40 inch, mm -hmm. I don't think. Mm -hmm. um, but the, the, the new gong uh, makers in, in Europe, uh, I believe, um, certainly Tone of Life makes mm -hmm. 16 inch oh, yes. gongs. Mm -hmm. And Sona, where who yes. have, uh, but Sona. the Sona factory, yeah. the Sona and Tone of Life are, yeah. are partners, if mm -hmm. you like, and the Sona factory, mm -hmm. that's where they come from in mm -hmm. Germany, North, uh, Northwest Germany. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, they make 60-inch um, gongs, yeah. variety of them, earth mm -hmm. gongs, and um, were well, their equivalent of symphonic gongs, Cosmo gongs. Um, and I believe that Gongland, uh, Rolf Nisch is beginning to make 60-inch um, gongs as wow. well. I believe so. Um, wow. I haven't heard them, but <laughs> I think so too. And he is comes from the line of pastry gong makers, famous you know, gong makers. I'm very impressed that how you know our friend to sh to uh, deliver to carry the big gong in her lorry. Right, very yeah, big, that's very true. Big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the van yeah. couldn't put yeah. that big gong. When she started, yeah. when she got that gong, she couldn't drive, mm -hmm. and she was, uh, she was unemployed, I think, um, and uh, became transformed through having this extraordinary gong. Yeah, yeah. finding a way of very good gong it. Player. Finding yeah. a way of transporting mm -hmm. it, yeah. I mean, she has some help, obviously, but uh, yes. yeah, it's a major, it's a major undertaking transporting mm -hmm. those things around. That's for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. Yeah, I hope every gong player they have they uh, already got their dream gong, no matter big or small, is a famous uh, brand name or is you know, the small maker. Uh, so thank you very much for uh, replying my question. Uh, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.